a mess. That's exactly how some people are describing the ongoing issues and conflicts here in the city of Lacey Lakeview. In recent months, we've shared stories on these exact issues here in our community, from the termination of the former police chief to a fire training gone wrong last month to allegations of city manager Calvin Hottie abusing his power and creating a hostile work environment, along with claims of questionable actions made by him and other city officials and departments. Tuesday night, city employees, along with people who live here in the city of Lacey Lakeview, put city leaders in the hot seat and asking for accountability, city officials to do their jobs and asking for people who live here and city officials to pull it together for the greater good of their community. It was the most packed Lacey Lakeview City Council meeting that I've seen in recent weeks, with many people even standing in the hallway. Some people told me that the larger crowd was due to city employees filling up the council chambers just to prevent others from voicing their thoughts about issues going on in the city. But that didn't happen as people made their way to the podium to speak their minds. We're going to get this city together and we're going to get it right because yes. we're not going anywhere. Talk to people that I work with at the city of Waco. Man, y'all got a mess over there. Much of the conversation centered around last month's Lacey Lakeview Fire Department's training exercise, where heat from the fire damaged John and Susan May's home, which was just next door. Firefighters addressed city council members and said during trainings, things go wrong. We went through every extensive efforts to protect the May's house and the house was damaged. Thanking some council members for their support while criticizing others for not. If anyone thinks that they can do better, Mayor and Mr. Bush, we have applications and we're welcome to apply. The fire still causing pain and confusion for the May family weeks later. John and Susan May's daughter, Brandy, addressing council members still questioning the actions taken by the city and city manager Calvin Hottie leading up to the fire and pushing the city to take the right steps in repairing her family's home. Um, my dad has dementia and this whole incident has caused him to be nervous. She says they are not getting all of the answers that they seek from city leaders. So I know everybody's pointing at us and stuff. They don't know the whole side of the story. So. Now all of this is building up for some people to push for a third party investigation into allegedly questionable actions taken within the city. City council persons stand up and do your job. We deserve it. People also ask that city council meetings be live streamed and recorded. That way they can go back and see what was talked about and how it was voted on. Now that exact topic was on the council's agenda. However, it was tabled until funds can be found. I'm told that that project costs about $9,000. Keep in mind, a budget meeting is expected in the coming weeks. Reporting here in Lacey Lakeview, I'm senior neighborhood reporter Bobby Portavent.